What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We're up here in the St. Lucie Canal behind my house. It was blowing so hard this morning, Rachel and I wanted to go offshore fishing, but we couldn't. So we decided to come up here and search a freshwater snook. I got one awesome thing to show you. So me and the boys went uh, crappie fishing the other day. We went and actually caught some grass shrimp. And just let me show you what we ran into real quick. It was in the same water where me and my kids were catching the shrimp and it was a little bit scary. Look how big this thing is. Come around the corner and did you see how big that alligator was? Oh, Brad and Ryan were watching me and they could see how big it was and it was 400 yards over here. But we wanted to bring you out here and show you what they're doing right now. They're catching grass shrimp with a big actual grass shrimp net. Now are my kids gonna get ate by alligators? No, we're sitting here watching them. We're in less than a foot of water. We can see what's coming. A gator can't physically get to them without me seeing them because it's so shallow. Out there where that gator was, it was about a foot deeper and there was no weeds. Here, I can see him coming. All right, Trey, hold up. Pick it up, pick it up. Let's see. Look at this. Luke, come here. Keep it. Ooh. Big shell cracker. No, that's a spotted tilapia. Spotted tilapia cracker. Whoa, Luke. Whoa, he's so anyhow, you come out here with this net and it has a roller on the end of it right there and it rolls along the bottom and kicks those shrimp up in the net. You can go for 10 feet or 100 feet, pick it up, come back, sort through it, and you got bait. You what? Got a little minnow. I don't know if they can see that, but that's a lot of shrimp. Apple snail. There's a bunch mixed in there. Right here. There's a... That's a crawdad. I pick up a snail and there's like two. We'll clean out. We'll clean out all these He's grass before bait. we put it in a bucket, and there'll be plenty of shrimp in there for both boats. Bait. Probably got a gallon of shrimp. I get a ton of questions on what we're thinking about walking out here in this water. Why would you let your kids? Why would you this? Why would you that? You guys, this is what we've done our whole life. That would be like me asking you guys that live in snow, how do you live in snow? This is just what we do. That's it. Pull out one single big grass shrimp. Well, they're all oh, oh there was one. one. That was a male. There, look at that one. Grab that one right there. See him? Grab him. Grab him by the hair like on the nose right there. Oh, yep. he's a there big you go. That's a good one. That's like a world record for a grass shrimp. Yeah, that's right. That's a monster. Now we're going to use these. I don't know if we're going to do it today or tomorrow because today it is howling out here. I'm sure y'all can already see. It's howling. So we're going to go try to catch crappie tonight. If we don't, we'll come back tomorrow and catch them. And we're going to catch them in like 28 foot of water along a bridge piling. So. Hey, we're gonna catch some more of these. We'll be right back. Yeah, that was an 11 and a half, 12 foot alligator. But did I die? No, I didn't die, I didn't die. The kids didn't die, nobody died. Y'all see that waterfall back there? Let me go over there and show you what's happening right now. So these snook will come in here and eat on this water that's shooting little bait fish out and I kept noticing something jump. Y'all watch this.
a walking catfish. Now watch what this thing does when we put him on the ground. This net is made by Danko. He walks, look at that. Not like a normal catfish, he can just walk. See, he doesn't have a normal dorsal fin like a catfish, but he does have the side fins. Watch this, let's put him out here where, where we can really see him walk. I've never known anybody to eat this particular species. We're here to catch snook, but I couldn't help to stop and show you all the walking catfish. We could probably have cool races, get each one of the kids that... I was just thinking that. Oh, that one won. Let's go catch a snook. Freshwater snook. Not the biggest, but he's a 100% freshwater snook on the Ozuri jerk bait. This fish has probably actually never seen salt water before. Look how pretty and clean he is. What do I got? What the? Whoa! Oh, a large mouth. Aww. A little large mouth. On the Zara Spook. Look at that, y'all. On the little Spook Daddy. Spook Daddy Jr. Now let's take it to the Kissimmee River Bridge with the kids. And I'm going to show y'all a bunch of crappie that we caught and how we caught them. We were actually using the same style rig that I did in my last video with the catfish. And when we're done, I'm going to show you how I run my airboat up a big hill and jump on the trailer like I already have a couple times. But some of y'all are new to the channel. And then we're headed directly to my parents' house in Jupiter, Florida to cook those crappie. And I'm so excited. My dad's got one of those big commercial fryers. We're going to cook a mess of fish. My cousins are in town from Texas. Yo, we're going to get down and eat. Rachel and I are out here. It's raining. There's big clouds coming. Show them that huge cloud over my shoulder. Look at that. That's one of them nasty Florida clouds. Look at my bait, look at my bait, look at my bait. Oh. What was that? Oh, yeah. it's huge, whatever it was. I think it's garfish. All right, y'all. Look at that. Back two. up some. This one's probably keeper. This one I'm not They're sure They're both a keeper. Two on one cast. Is That's because you had your daddy's. Luke, what What do you got? Do you have a, did you catch one too? This is... Wow. It looks like a shell cracker. Yeah. We oh. have one. We have one. Trey, Trey, get this. Get the gaff, Trey. Oh, we got a double. No, we got a double. Man. Get the gaff, Trey. Pull him in. No, we mine. Who's bigger? <laughs> They're like twins. Dude, mine's bigger. It's yeah, blue gate. Oh, get oh, him. Jump on him. Get him. Yeah. He's mine. Jump on him. I'm on him. He ain't getting away. Dude, that's that. that we need the gaff for that one. That thing's huge. All right, let, yeah, he's yours. Let Luki grab him. In the mouth. Squeeze tight. Squeeze tight. He's a flopper. Come here and put him in this cooler now. Put him right in this cooler. Set him in there. Why did you my next one? That was the fish that I caught. Yours are still in here. I can't believe I'm sitting out here in 30 foot of water in my airboat. That's wild. What in the world? Trey, we got to step our game up. I'm we are getting outfished, y'all. But to my credit, that's two grown adults in that boat. And I got three kids over here. Well, Trey's not quite a kid, but he ain't a grown adult yet. I'm going to put on your ear. Let me see. See if you can do it. Ow! Put him on my ear. Ow! 
good. Luke, oh! Right in the Luke. danger spot. Ow! Seriously, Luke, he's hurting. He'll grab an 11 foot gate. Oh, he, oh, he's, oh, oh he's got you too, huh? Look at Luke's face. That was payback. Uh, yeah, I'll put him on my ear. Let me see You're fishing. Uh oh. Look here. Look here. Look here. Here, give it. Ooh. That's, that's how you do it. Look. I can't believe you just put that on your daddy's ear. We're catching donkeys out here. Oh, Let me see. Look at that donkeys. big one. Put him in the cooler. But I'm always catching big ones. Let me hold this, Luke. Let me hold this real quick. Hey, Luke, hold my rock, so. No. You did it to me. No, it's a good hook. All right, go here, go. He turned it into a worm. Or something. All right, y'all. I'm trying to film. I ain't playing hopscotch. Can I see Jake? Can I? Another big one. Another big one. That's a good one. Right a what? Oh yeah. Y'all are cheating on that side. It, it takes some. Y'all are cheating. It takes some dirty seconds. Swallowed it. I need to get a different bait guy. He takes forever to get me a shrimp. I cause you complain if it's too small. All right, y'all, so we have our crappie jigging rods. These are what we use when we're jigging them with jigs out in the open water, in the reeds and stuff. I've done just a little guppy rig, which you see me fish with all the time. Two split shots, two little four-aught J-hooks, to a slip bobber. And at the end, I've got a bobber stopper, and I've got it measured at about 10 foot exactly, which means you can drop it in, and that bobber will go all the way down and that bobber stopper will stop it. So we're gonna take just two little grass shrimp. You don't. You would think you need big ones, but you don't. These crappies have big eyes and they've been doing this a while. So I got one grass shrimp, hook him right in the tail, just like that. I'm gonna get me another one. So split shot, two hooks, two grass shrimp to a slip bobber. Taking my mom to be a cat woman. I'm not, I'm not. It, but I love my grandkids. And they're only little so long, just a little short while. Did you ever think mom would have a cat in her house? I never thought so, but hey. Kitty, kitty, yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. We didn't have Wookie way back then. That's either. favoritism to the grandkids. Yeah. Aria and Emma and Wookie like that cat. And Jake now, he does all kind of backflips to help take keep Look, the cat. Hold up. I'll tell you all this right now. I'm kind of surprised at the cat, but dad cooking is floors me. So I gotta go see <laughs> Y'all check out how beautiful that Royal Poinciana is. We planted that thing when I was just a little baby, a little knee high to a grasshopper. And now, once a year it blooms and it's the most amazing colors and just smells. My favorite tree. You guys see these? Mangoes. It's also that time of the year where our mangoes start getting ripe and my parents have some of the best mangoes ever. Mm-hmm. Just fell off the limb. You know it's gonna be good. I won! What do you mean? What did you win? Play manhunt. Oh. What you making, Ma? Some hush puppies. How did it why are they named hush puppies? I have no idea. I haven't been around that long. Look at that big old hawk. What about all this fish? 
Is that the crappie that we caught yes. the other day? Yes. It's a crappie we caught in Lake Okeechobee. Mm. Somebody. What, what, did, what did you say? I'll give y'all a fun fact about a mango. A squirrel and a rabbit will eat these jokers just as fast as they get ripe. We battle them daily. My dad's got him a little 22. Hush, hush, he comes out. He dusts him some squirrels. All right, Jake, tell us how that crappie is. Pretty good. Is it pretty good or really good? What, is, what are those crickets I hear? What are they for? Are I got leopard geckos. All right, y'all, that was just a little bit of chaos at our house. We got family in town. We got friends in town. Look at all these Paul Thigpen vehicles, though. Paul Thigpen, huge shout out. We got a full driveway full of y'all's trucks and SUVs. You guys, if you're looking for a new vehicle, check out Paul Thigpen. But right now, I'm full. It's time to get up out of here. Thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit it. Because, listen, we're going noodling. We're going to Spear Grouper. We're taking my new airboat to Venice, Louisiana and doing some stuff that no other YouTuber's ever done with an airboat. I've got big things coming. Robert's going to St. Thomas. He's going all over the place too. He's got big things coming. But right now it's time for me to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.